Hey guys, I got a new version of the Pixelcade LED software for you. Lots of cool new features. Let's get into it. And the biggest new feature is this thing called Pixelcade Companion, which is basically a web interface to your Pixelcade. So from any browser on your network, just go to the host name of your device. So this is my host name in this case. If you don't know the host name, you can also type in the IP address. Just hit enter. Make sure you do type this colon 8080. And that will take you to Pixelcade Companion, which is again this web user interface or companion to your Pixelcade. So let's check browse images first. So this lets you browse marquees. So let's see, let's go to MAME. Let's start with MAME. And so you can just go here and browse artwork. So just click away, um, see lo lots of artwork um, that's been done by the community over the years. So it's a nice way to kind of see what's there. And you can, you can browse by different consoles. So for example, let's say we want to check out um, Daphne. There's a lot of cool artwork for Daphne. So go ahead in here and browse away. There is also a number of animated marquees. So those will be under the animated uh, tile. So you can just play with some of these, lots of Lots of cool artwork here as well. So those are the animated ones. So that's a nice way to kind of browse again, the artworks there. And you can see there's a lot of different consoles that have been added over the years. This is also kind of cool. This shows the last marquee that's actually playing under Pixelcade shows up here as well in Pixelcade Companion. So that was the um, browsing of the artwork. Now let's check out the widgets feature. This personally, I think, is going to be the most popular one. So this is basically a sports ticker. So the first thing you want to do here is go to your settings and kind of configure. So let's say that we, you know, we, we um, it's NFL season, so I'm going to pick NFL right now. You can set up some stocks. I've already set up some stocks here. You can add additional stocks, for example. And then I've already set my location, but you can go here and set your zip code. So for example, say this is our zip code, and then, then just click on each of these. So the first one is the sports ticker. So this will display various sports scores. And you can see if the game is active, it shows a little black box there in the bottom showing you the active score. Now let's say, for example, I want to see what's going on in hockey. So I can set it for hockey, go back, and now I have all the hockey scores. So pretty cool feature, and you can see there's quite a few sports that are supported, all of these ones here. So that is the sports ticker. Um, you can, uh, we, remember we entered those stocks, so here's your stocks. And the weather. And there's also a clock mode. So you can just put it on clock and then just walk away. So those are the widgets. Okay, so if you go to manage artwork, so now from here you can tell right away if there's a new artwork version available. So basically, if this number is different than this number, then this will be highlighted and you can click it and that's going to update your artwork. Now the artwork update will happen in the background it takes anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the speed of your internet. So just let that run in the background. You'll get the latest artwork. You don't even need to reboot. So that's how the artwork works. There's also an optional art pack. So if you click this, this will take you to the art pack purchase. Um, you watch the video, it basically shows you some samples of the artwork. The art pack is basically animated marquees. So the still images marquees are included with Pixelcade. No need to pay for that. But if you want the animated marquees, you can see there's a lot of them here. You can uh, browse through the different files. That comes with the art pack. So if you're interested in that, you can purchase it on this site. You'll get a code, then just enter the code in here and click that button and that will install the art pack in the background. So that's how you manage the artwork. And then lastly, we can go to device settings. So often I'll get asked, you know, let's say someone wants, has a favorite game and the, the artwork isn't that great. So before with the old Pixelcade, there was a log file you could check. Now that's all embedded in Pixelcade Companions. You can just go through here and so you can see, for example, in this case, 
it was requested of the console Genesis and the ROM name was this. So if you wanted to replace it with your own file, you would basically create a file with this, this file name .ping and stick it into the Genesis folder of your Pixelcade installation. So settings is a great way to um, kind of debug and if, if you really want to get in there and mess with your own artwork, that's what you can do. This also shows you the software version so you can see what version we're on here as well. So I hope you enjoy the new release. Um, it is beta right now, so if you get a chance to try it out, please do give us some feedback. You can comment in this video or shoot us an email. Um, when you go to pixelk.org, look for the beta link. So you'll see it on Windows, RetroPie, Botticera. There, there's links all there. Uh, definitely let us know how it goes. And then lastly, I just want to say a big thanks to the developers behind this. Uh, this was a lot of work. This was a big release. It was actually a complete rewrite. So the old Pixelcade was written in Java. This is now written in much more uh, modern language called Go. Going to be much more sustainable and add ability to add new features over time. So big thanks to Jeff Ribeiro, Doc Caliban, Wildcoder, Kai, Walk Knight. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your help. Um, you'll see some links to, they've got a, some pretty cool projects going on as well. So be sure and check out the links in this video, uh, link to some of their sites. They've got some pretty cool stuff. So do support them as well. And as always, thanks for tuning in.